All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and review Super Speed Clean and Booster app for Android. Now, as we take a look here, it's got 1 million downloads, so that's good. Rated 4.4 out of 5, so that's pretty good. A light, fast, and superior phone cleaner and boosted for Android, and they say it's free. Something tells me they're going to have ads on this since it's free. The, first, the last people that have reviewed this have gave it one star. But then as you go down and reviews, then you'll find the people that are giving it five stars. So if we look at all of it, there's 5,000 people with five stars. So it should be a good app. Let's go ahead and install it and review it and see how it does. All right, we're installing it right now. Let's go ahead and open it. Super Speed Clean 1.1.1. So this is a fairly new app. All right. So we got Auto Boost and we got Charge Master. Okay. We're going to go ahead and hit open now. So right now I think what it's doing, it's boosting. So as we look at the menu here, it looks actually pretty easy to use. They made it for somebody that uh, that likes easy access to everything. So right here we have junk files, phone boost, CPU cooler, and battery saver. Let's take a look at the junk files feature. Looks like it's already cleaning it. At the top it says junk clean. What this tells me, this is probably a Chinese made app. Well, you notice with Asian uh, companies with their grammar, they never say junk cleaner. I guess in their in their language, they don't use um, um, that type of uh, vocabulary. You notice they always say junk clean instead of junk cleaner. Or PC expert instead of PC experts. You know what I mean? So, here we have some files here we can clean up. Let's go ahead and click here on clean junk. Pretty cool animation here. And here is our first ad. Let's go ahead and close that, guys. All right, it cleaned 281 megabytes. Another ad popped up. Let's try go ahead and test out the phone boost. It says we can free up 92 megabytes. Let's go ahead and hit boost and see what it does. Well, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool animations on this. And we have another ad. This can get a little frustrating after a while. Okay. Now we have stuff here. Then we have the notification cleaner. Let's go ahead and test out that feature. I'm going to hit enable to clean junk notifications. We have to give it access. So let's go ahead and give it access. We'll say allow. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit clean now. Now that we can do it. It looks like it didn't do much. It looks like it's already cleaned. Floating widget. What is that? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. App lock more than four hours of privacy, so you can actually protect uh, apps. You can lock them. So here, for example, you don't want somebody to be using your phone and messaging. You cannot. You can protect those like this. Let's just go ahead and protect the one. That way, um, it won't be too difficult to change it. Let's go, let's try messaging. It'll make you confirm your draw pattern. And you got to give it access. So when you first start using these apps, you have to give it access to everything that you do. Now keep in mind, by doing this, you're going to have to, if you ever want to uninstall this app, you might have to go back and go through the settings here to do it. Because if you try to uninstall this app just from the, from the app in, 
on the app removing screen, the app settings, depending on what phone you're using, what version of Android. When you go to app settings and you go to remove it through there, it might not let you. It'll be grayed out. So you might have to come back and do this to um, do that. So one, one app has been blocked for protection. Let's go ahead and test it out, see if it works with the protection. So here I am trying to open up messaging. And as you notice, it's asking to draw your unlock pattern. So that's pretty cool how you can protect your, your apps this way. So for a free app where you can protect your apps, that's pretty cool pretty cool guys the ads you'll just have to you'll just have to deal with the ads all right I'm gonna go ahead and put my thing here but uh, once messaging pops up that has private stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and get back to you for the next feature okay we're back in the in the app now okay let's go ahead and take a look at the CPU cooler see what that does so that's a pretty cool fan there it's cooling it down right now And there it is. But then an ad popped up again. <laughs> so CPU temperature is okay. Here's another ad. Let's go ahead and go back. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the battery saver feature here. I have the ZTE Grand Times 4, and this phone has really good battery usage time. The battery lasts for about two days when I charge the whole thing. It's pretty. It's a pretty good phone. The one I have doesn't have a gyroscope though, so that, that's the only thing that sucks about it. But anyway, uh, we're gonna hit hibernate. And we're gonna hibernate those apps. Ooh, it's trying to hibernate my screen mirror. Hopefully, you guys can still see me. Okay, cool. It's still working. And here comes another app. I mean, another ad. Let's take a look at the network feature here. Oh, it's going to make us get something else. The Wii VPN Master. Hmm, okay, that's just another app. We might review that one later, guys. Let's go back. Ah, come on. Let's go back. Okay, we're back here now. And Game Center, I guess, here you can go ahead and they're advertising their games for you guys. So there it is. Um, a lot of these apps clean junk files, but then you really, you don't, and you can clean the junk files, do the CPU cooler, the battery saving thing and all that. And you don't really notice much of a difference, but what I really like about this app, what I really like about it is the app lock. And to go to the app lock, we actually have to tap here. And then there it is right there, app lock right here. You draw your pattern. And then you select what app you want to block. That's what I like about this app. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to give this app, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and give this app, uh, it's a free app. It works pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is those ads. So I'm going to give it four stars. If it didn't have ads, I'll give it five. But, of course, every free app out there has ads. And that's the way they make their money. That's the way they can continue their research. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the Super Speed Clean Review. Stay tuned. I'll be making more review videos on the App Store. And I'll see you soon in one of my other videos.